Welcome my darlings, I'm Melly and I'm here with you today with a tea leaf reading uh, for the collective. It is also called Taseomancy, so I have already prepared your cup of tea and you can see the tea leaves inside, so let's start by reading it. Okay, so for many of you, I'm seeing uh, um, a soulmate connection coming. This is something very divinely guided. And uh, it's something that uh, it will be, it will stay in the long run. If you are not searching for a soul uh, mate or a love relationship, I'm seeing a deep bond uh, with a friend. You will meet someone from your soul uh, tribe and um, you will share a lot of things with them. They will be almost like uh, you are seeing yourself is what I'm hearing. Um, your minds are so connected um that you will be able almost you know to look at each other or even like be in separate rooms or in separate places and like really know uh, what they are up to that's maybe because they will be like uh, they will have a same story is what i'm hearing with you hmm Also for many of you, I'm seeing that you have been like uh, maybe seeing nightmares lately or your reality is not uh, uh, very good. Something is really bothering you. Maybe you are feeling uh, tied down to a certain situation or a place and uh, you are trying to escape it. Mm, I'm seeing things really... Uh, dissolving for you like really melting down you will be able to find like a, a small uh, a socket of um, you know a small passage through and I'm hearing that even though this passage is uh, it may seem small and you uh, you will even uh, maybe wonder how I'm going to fit in there. Um, because, you know, in my mind's eye, I'm seeing like a small door uh, in the trunk of a, of a tree and like a small like elf uh, uh, guiding you. And you are like, how, how am I going like uh, me in my human form, like uh, even go through that little door, um, which is for elves. Uh, but you know, I'm seeing something like Alice in Wonderland. You are going through like uh, the mini door and then you are like uh, uh, growing and shrinking according to the situation. So I'm really feeling that, you know, something is opening for you and maybe you will not see it like uh, in the first place as what it is, like your savior moment, but um, it will be really rewarding and something different from what uh, you have been uh, um, dealing with for a lot of, for a long time. Yeah, I'm really seeing that you are going, you know, through a transformation where you are setting a lot of uh, like things and I'm seeing uh, that this transformation is so uh, huge for you. You are really like, um, dive, you know, like I'm seeing two roads for you, like two... Uh, 
a cross path, cross crossways. I'm sorry. Mm, and I'm seeing two roads opening up for you. The one is like what you have been taught and your previous self, and the new one is uh, something uh, different, something um, uh, like completely uh, unique is what I'm hearing. Yeah, and I'm seeing also that you have been working on this thing for quite a long time. Maybe that's why you have the nightmares. Um, because you have been working and working and working and nothing uh, has been like uh, shown in the physical. But uh, what I'm hearing is that... Uh, you know, your physical uh, world will start matching your internal world. Mm. I'm seeing you climbing a mountain and you are almost ready, you know, to reach the top. As I said before, someone will come and... Uh, um, will come at, the, at this last part of your journey, you know, uh, to, to be like a, um, like in your company, like if it is a friend or a lover, if you are searching for one, uh, a very important person will come and they will stay. I'm also seeing that you have been uh, very um, strong, like almost all, um, everyone that has been bullying you or that they were causing like these nightmares, they are now afraid of you. They are afraid that you are, you know, uh, leaving their side because um what I'm seeing is that they didn't have like any physical restrictions. Everything that they created for you, it was like a situation on your mind. And now that you are really realizing and pulling off their mask, you know that, you know, you are finding your true strength. Mm. And they have, they don't have power over you anymore. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of uh, like things coming together um, for you, like in your mind. Something is uh, really like uh, uh, coming forth, you know, to to really um, like uh, help you in the transformation journey. Yeah, so what else? Okay, so I'm seeing the number 11. If you see 11 or 11, 11 or 1, uh, that's your sign. Also go outside in nature if you can. Or try to ground yourself as much as you can. You know, this is uh, like um, I'm hearing the last stop for you before everything uh, starts coming together. And you will see big changes in your life. You are deeply guided by, by your ancestors, I'm seeing some of them really like uh, pushing uh, things around you 
although you have to go through through trial and error, you know, um, in order to to find like your own answers to your problems. But they are really there guiding you uh, along the way. So let's see. I also want to pull some tea leaf cards because they seem really fitting for that. So I'm going to grab from here. Wow, that's beautiful. Dolphin, financial gain usually coming from something you did in the past. What, would I, what was I saying? Like something uh, is really, it's starting, you know, to pay off. Let's see, you also have a month here. I will take it. Oh, you have January. Yeah. <laughs> Do you see that? That's so fitting. So things are going to start like coming towards you. Okay, you have an astral house. Oh, you have love. What did I say? If you are searching for your soulmate, they are coming and they are coming strong. Mm, let's see, I want to take from here goldfish. Increase in material worth all spiritual growth. All the, the synchronicities. I'm so happy for you. And uh, what else? Let's grab here. Broken bridge and successful outcome to a problem. You know, I'm seeing that uh, like really, um, like you are burning bridges with the past. You are burning bridges and no one can really, uh, no one and nothing can really touch you and affect you in the same way that it did in the past. Yeah. Nothing that was tormenting you in the past has access to you right now. So that's really beautiful and empowering. Let's grab another one. I think this one. You have carriage, a journey either physical or mental. So maybe you are traveling to somewhere. For sure, we saw that like your mental like uh, journey, your internal journey really paid off. But maybe, you know, you are like by burning like these bridges that I said before, maybe you are really changing your environment and uh, no one and nothing from the past can touch you all or like um, go through the, you know, put you in this circle again, because you are living like the situation um, forever. And, um, you know, I'm hearing that also it's uh, something if you don't take like a trip or if you don't have something like, um, um, you know, program to do uh, like that I'm really here like that you are stepping outside of the situation and you are not like bothering to um, to see and like uh, connect with the uh, people and situation that really harmed you in the past so that's all I have for you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like at this kind of reading and I wish you all the best. Please comment down below if you resonated with uh, uh, something that I said. I know it's a collective reading. You can take like uh, bits and parts. Uh, nothing, uh, you know, not everything is meant to resonate with you and nothing is um, uh, set in stone you know things are changing um, you know as we progress forward with our actions so I wish you all the best and I will see you in the next one fear nothing I believe in you bye